<laughs> Welcome to JSA TV and JSA Podcast, where we're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations with leaders in global connectivity, real estate, and the networks within. My name is Emily Scherer for JSA, and I am joined today by Kim Gunalius from Vern Global Finland. They are an industry leader reimagining the future of environmentally responsible data center operations. Kim, it's great to see you again on JSA TV. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. So um, as the first hyperscale level co-location company in the Nordics with a third party climate neutral certification, this conference is a great fit for you, obviously, all about sustainability and ESG goals. Um, for those that might not be familiar with Vern Global Finland, can you share a little bit more about the company, your mission and where you're located? Sure, absolutely. Uh, so uh, Finland was uh, started uh, in 2011 as Ficolo. Uh, we always focused on environmental operations, going all in on uh, acquiring uh, green energy. And our first data center was an underground data center where it was naturally cool. So, so it's in the granite, uh, built by uh, the defense forces. So a good location, we thought, where you don't need to use so much energy for cooling. Uh, we've also implemented... Uh, a solar power plant on top for those uh, few warm days that we have in Finland. Uh, and ever since then, uh, we have focused on uh, sustainability in our operations. For instance, uh, the, uh, the network of tunnels was there already. And in Helsinki, we actually built our data center into an existing building. So it was a brownfield. So this way we save uh, quite a lot of uh, CO2 footprint by not having to construct ourselves. So um, along with that, we did our climate neutral certification in 2011 just to uh, get a sort of third party stamp of approval to show show the world that we are uh, serious about this. And we've also uh, done a green bond, uh, which we got uh, the best rating in 2019. We did that. Uh, and uh, last year, uh, the company Ficolo, as it was called then, was acquired by Vern Global. We've got uh, data centers in Iceland and London. And Iceland is also a perfect place for uh, very green uh, operations uh, with their grid uh, being fed by, by thermal and, uh, and hydro. So uh, it's great to be part of such a family with, uh, with the same kind of focus. And... Uh, you know, our, our owners are very much focused on this. So it was um, it was super important for us also from a capital perspective and from an ownership perspective. And uh, we are uh, all very much focused on taking this to the to the next level with regard to all the sustainability initiatives that we can. Absolutely. So yeah, perfect conference for that message for everything that you all are working on. That's fantastic. Um, and now tomorrow you're going to be on the keynote panel and it is about how to avoid greenwashing and exceed customer expectations. This is such an important topic um, that people are talking about, you know, not just um, saying you're doing something, but actually, you know, walking the walk, talking the talk. So what's something on that panel that you're hoping people are going to take away from what you're going to share tomorrow? Sure. Um, so greenwashing is is uh, very interesting in um, in that uh, shall we say the the requirements seem to be changing. Um, it seems that uh, everybody is looking. Uh, they they're kind of taking a looking glass and looking at what you are reporting and challenging you, which I think is is really good. Um, and also the one thing that is happening is that uh, regulation is is really, shall we say, more serious in this area. So, so for instance, labeling uh, products as, as green or whatever, uh, there's, there's a ton of different labels, and now there's new regulation coming, coming out. So this means that the, the environment is, is really complex, and, uh, and the, the greenwashing in itself uh, is, is something that, um, you know, it's... It's a difficult topic, and I think it even is, it varies on your location, what can be considered green and so on. So you really have to look at it from many different angles. So so the panel tomorrow will be gathering you know, many different experts with uh, uh, many different ways of looking at it. So 
I'm going to be, you know, of course, thinking about it from a Nordic perspective, but there's also more global perspectives there. So, so I really look forward to the discussion, and I hope it will be also, you know, more of a discussion than than just uh, people commenting. Right. If you will. Absolutely. Great. Well, I hope everyone can come and check that out. As a reminder, it is tomorrow, and that is the panel about greenwashing. Um, and then also, you are a thought leader to another initiative, um, Greener Data. This is actually something that um, our agency started um, as a book. It is actionable insights from industry leaders. Um, and you're going to have a chapter in the next version of this. It's coming out Earth Day 2024. Can you share a little bit with us what that chapter is going to be about and what you're going to be talking about? Sure. Well, firstly, I would like to uh, comment that uh, the first initiative of the Greener Data Book, that was a really great initiative. I've heard so much positive feedback from people, you know, not just about what I wrote, but but the way of bringing the industry together to think about uh, these challenges from different perspectives and, you know, sharing insights. So uh, the chapter in the next book will be focusing on... Um, AI and uh, the requirements for liquid cooling and what that means, because AI is coming in such a big way. It's, it's going to change a lot of the things that we, you know, the way we are working. And uh, the, the the cooling solutions, you, you can't just go with uh, with uh, normal sort of air cooled. Uh, you will have to uh, evolve. So I'm going to be talking about that and what it means for sustainability and also in a slightly more broad perspective, uh, looking, for instance, at heat reuse, mm -hmm. uh, which uh, is enabled by uh, intelligent use of, um, of liquid cooling. Yeah, absolutely. And I think everyone's kind of coming around to that, right? Air cooled is out. You've got to have the liquid cooling to support the AI. So very interesting chapter. We're really looking forward to reading it. And everybody, you can read that when Greener Data Volume 2 comes out on Earth Day in 2024. Kim, it's been great to have you here. Thanks for joining us today. Thanks. My pleasure. Absolutely. And to all of our viewers, thanks for joining us. We are signing out here from Data Cloud ESG, and we will see you soon.